Oh, it's you again. No, I was just writing the lesson for next week. Please, come in. Go ahead and take a seat. How could I help you today? So you got lost in the last lesson. All right, let's go ahead and see if maybe we can help clarify for you then. Do you have your notes from earlier today? Yeah, go ahead and take them out for me. Around where do you think you understood it? Let's go ahead and use that as our starting points. So what do you think a derivative is? Well, the simplest way to see it as as a rate of change. So as you know, we have a slope and it works well with very simple functions. But with things a little bit more complex with a couple of curves, it's not as easy to just find the slope. On the other hand, derivatives gives us a guess on where exactly it would be based on that function. In fact, derivatives are the same as finding a slope for a regular line function, but with more complex numbers. So let's go ahead and start with something you should already know. Uh, here. What do you think the slope is? Good. See, that was pretty simple. Now let's try something. So if I give you this function, how do you think you would go ahead to find the derivative? Uh, are you stuck? All right, uh, what do you think if I drew it out for you? Could you find it then? Uh, well, let's go ahead and try. Okay, so usually for a line, you would go ahead and get two points and subtract them, right? And then that would go ahead and give you the direction. Yeah, so that's the reason because of that is because the slope is constant. But here, as you can see, this, this curve makes it not so consistent. And we're going to need to go ahead and do something different. So as it goes through the line, the slope might change direction from point to point. Uh, sorry, <laughs> did I lose you there? All right, this point might be easier if I showed you. So from here to here, uh, how far do you think it goes up? All right, good. Now, if we're to do it from here to here. Yeah, four. And what if we went ahead and did it from here to here? All right. That'd be nine. Now, if I were to show you this and told you that this was a pattern, uh, what do you think the pattern would look like? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, exactly. It'd go to 16, then 25, and so on and so forth. Now, if I were to go ahead and tell you that I can see a consistent pattern where the slope is changing, uh, what do you think the slope would be in this instance? I would say the slope would be something like y equals 2x, right? Sorry, did I jump too far again? All right, let's go step by step. I'll show you with the numbers. So here uh, at point one, uh, if we plug in 1, it's 1 squared would equal 1, right? So that's where it ends up. Now, if you pay attention here, you would also notice that the line doesn't go directly to 1. 
instead it goes ahead and has a small amount of time where it's ramping up until it actually goes up a little bit faster and faster uh, once it gets to one right but this point exactly has a very specific slope and if i were to zoom in super super far uh, you would be able to tell that it would be two but if we move slightly to the right, let's say x equals 1.5, then the slope would be three. But if we move back, let's say to 0 0.5, then it would equal one. Yeah, you seem to get it. So if I wanted you to lead to the next one, whatever this value of x gives me the direction of where I should be going. Now, of course, that's what derivatives are for. But now we have to go ahead and find the exact answer. Of course, there is great old mathematicians far smarter than I that gave us that formula. But they gave us plenty of letters to go ahead and explain it. But I know you kids seem to always get scared of mixing the alphabet and math. So I'll go ahead and explain it for you. This formula. You see this n right here? Any number that you could possibly think of being the exponent would be sitting there. Now to find the derivative, you would put it over here. And then the number that was up here, you would go ahead and subtract it by one. Now in this instance, there's nothing here, but if there was a number already here, we would just go ahead and multiply it instead. Okay, good. So in this instance, we just go ahead and multiply two, subtract one, and then this exponent goes to one. And since any number with the exponent of one just is itself, we just go ahead and ignore it for now because it just stays the same as it is. Yeah, that's right, the x stays there. Uh, nothing changes unless we go ahead and take another derivative. Uh, because if we went ahead and were to multiply one and subtract one, the exponent would be zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And then that would just be equal to one. So you just multiply it against the first number. That's why if you find the slope of a line, you just get this number and ignore the rest of it. That's because x would have the exponent of zero, so it'd be one, and then numbers don't have a slope related to it, so they would just become zero. Uh, you think you got that? All right, great. Now I'm gonna give you three small problems and I want you to go ahead and solve them for me. Do you think you could do that? <laughs> great, I'm sure you'll be able to understand it for the next lesson. So here. Go ahead and find the derivative for all of them. All right, that's good. All right, uh, let's go ahead and go to the next one. Uh, so here again, if I have a whole number, uh, there's no slope. So for example, if I said a y equals three and I told you to find the slope, yeah, that's right. It'd be completely horizontal line and there's no slope to that. So the slope would just be set to zero. So with that information, uh, what do you think the solution for this would be again? Yeah, that's correct. All right, uh, let's do the last one. <laughs> Beautiful. 
don't be so bashful. You're doing great. Be proud. Not everyone can understand these sorts of concepts. Is there anything else you might need me for? Well, my experience outside of math is limited, but I wouldn't mind giving my input on it. Oh, it's about him. What did he do? Look, I wouldn't take it personal. I'm sure he just has a lot on his mind. Well, I intend to know all my students, and this is in a big town, so I've actually gotten to talk to him and his family quite often. It seems like you guys probably got off on the wrong foot. I know. What if you found out about him yourself? Here, uh, go to this store. I'm sure it'll all be sorted out once you go. <laughs> Just trust me. Oh, uh, if you need help with any of your studies, you're welcome to come back whenever. Yeah, all right. Goodbye.